fall is here you guys and I have not hesitated to break out the dark nails, the dark lips, the cozy sweater, the leaves candle in the background. I'm loving every minute of it and today I was in the mood to do a fall inspired tutorial, something with a red lip and tousled waves and I have my hair pulled up into like a little mini half bun in the back. I feel like half up hair always really complements a red lip because it kind of pulls the hair away from your face so the lip can be a little bit more prominent and noticeable. This is the kind of look that I'm totally into right now and I've been trying a lot of new products recently and I incorporated them into this tutorial. So if you want to see how I did my makeup and hair, let's go ahead and get started. First up, I'm applying foundation. I'm using the M Cosmetics Love Me For Me foundation, which has a matte finish and medium coverage. I like a little more coverage when I'm wearing a bold lip look because I think flawless skin emphasizes the features of the face more. Then I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and concealing underneath my eyes, around my nose, and anywhere else I need a little extra coverage. Moving on to brows, I think a bold brow is essential for a bold lip look because it balances out the top half of the face with the drama of the bottom half. And I'm using my Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. I use this all the time, I love it. And then I'm combing through everything with a clear brow gel. For bronzer, I'm going with an old favorite, Nars Laguna. You can never go wrong with Nars Laguna. And I always concentrate bronzer on the outer contours of my face. I just find it has a really flattering effect. So I'm dusting this underneath my cheekbones, up around my forehead, and blending from my jawline down my neck. For eyes, I'm starting by priming my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. If you don't have this one, seriously consider getting it because it's probably my favorite eyeshadow base of all time. It covers up the veining on my lids and it just wears all day. Then for eyeshadow, I'm kind of having a moment with matte eyeshadow looks right now and I'm using the beautiful Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. How pretty is this? I love it. I'm starting by mixing the lightest two shades in the palette and applying them all over my lids with a big fluffy brush. And then I'm going back to the palette and grabbing the color Nudie on a fluffy crease brush. And I'm running this through my crease to add some definition. I'm keeping the eyes pretty simple for this look because I don't want to overwhelm the face. And then for eyeliner, I'm staying really simple with a dark shadow. This is Sexpresso from the palette. And I'm tapping this along my upper lash lines with an angled brush. Because I can never do a completely matte eye, I'm taking just a touch of my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pored and tapping this into my inner corners and on my brow bone to add a pop of light. And I'm also going to use this to highlight my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. For mascara lately, I've been using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So many scandalous names for these products, but this one is so good. I can't believe I hadn't tried it until recently. The wand is almost fluffy and it's soft and it manages to catch every lash. Then on the cheeks, I'm breaking out my fall favorite Max Gingerly Blush. I love this color. It's the prettiest warm ginger shade that reminds me of all things pumpkin and fall. It's perfect for this time of year. Now for the lip, I'm starting with a lip liner. This is my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Jewel. And I always like to line my lips if I'm doing a darker color because I find that it really helps everything stay in place. And then for lipstick, I'm applying the Butter London Lippy Tinted Balm in Tramp Stamp. Gosh, there's just a theme going on with these product names today. I love the formula of this because it's kind of sheer and it has a hydrating feel to it, so it's really comfortable to wear. And then for gloss, I'm tapping on just a bit of my Aveda Nourishment Gloss in Mangosteen. This stuff is super pigmented, so I'm kind of just dotting this on and then blending by rubbing my lips together. And that's it for makeup. Now for hair, I want to get a little volume in my roots, so I'm shaking in some of the Davines Texturizing Dust. This is just a hair powder that kind of fluffs everything up and it's virtually foolproof. Then I'm spritzing in my Tony and Guy Heat Protectant. I use this all the time, but I still haven't run out of it. It's awesome. 
Next, I'm going to be adding some wave to my hair with a curling wand. This is the 25 millimeter wand from the new me lustrum set. And I usually like to curl my hair in sections. So I'm sectioning up the top half of my hair, then grabbing pieces from the bottom layer and wrapping them away from my face around the wand. Sometimes I'll use a bigger iron for this, but I find that if I use a smaller sized one, I don't have to be as meticulous about the process and the curls tend to fluff up and get even more volume as they wear. So I'm wrapping my hair piece by piece, layer by layer, and because I'll be pinning part of it back, it's really helpful to add some wave and texture in. Since my hair is naturally straight and really slippery, it does not like to stay in place, even with bobby pins. So I always try to add some curl and body first. When I'm all done curling, I'm shaking everything out with my fingers, tossing it around, and then I'm hitting it with some Orbe dry texturizing spray for even more volume. I don't know why I'm always almost afraid of this stuff when I spray it. It's like a tornado coming at your head though. The gust is so strong. Then I'm pulling half of my hair back to pin up. I just think a bold lip stands out a little more when the hair is pulled away from the face. And all I'm doing is twisting the hair around itself into a little bun shape. And as you can see with the curl, it practically wraps around itself. It's super easy. And then I'm popping in a couple of bobby pins to hold everything in place, tugging here and there to loosen things up. I prefer for it to look a little bit messy. And voila, the hair is done. If you're interested in the wand I used, the Numi Lustrum set actually comes with five interchangeable wands of different sizes, and they're made of tourmaline infused ceramic, and you can create a lot of different looks with them. I love this set. And if you use the code It's Allison, you can get the set with a free argan oil right now for $89, or you can get 50% off the Numi website and free US shipping with the code Allison loves you. I will have those written down in the description box. And that is it for this fall makeup and hair look. Let me know what kind of makeup and hair looks you're into right now. Like, are you more of a red lips kind of person in the fall or do you gravitate more toward smoky eyes? Let me know down in a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.